shot. Up, oh, that is in, Murray with the win! A room to run. Basketball. It's in Iberia. Iberia first with the ball on the tip. Lady Rangers. Basket up. Not there. And foul on Dixon. They have two subs on the bench, so they cannot get a lot of fouls here. Dixon with the inbound travel back to the Rangers. And Iberia, this time the bucket will go in. Three rebounds during that little span, but fourth one was the charm. 25% starting out. And steal by the Rangers already here. Siberia team, they showed a lot of heart in the first round, so Dixon just kind of blending together still. Low on numbers, but overall a decent team down the road. All sophomores. And we have a timeout. We'll come back after this. And we are back here. My clock is not going. We'll get that going for you. Four zero lead for Iberia. Jump ball. That'll stay with the Rangers. They're in the white with green. Dixon in the red. Pretty much solid red uniforms for Dixon. And long shot, no good. Rangers coming down the other way. Iberia, that is short. This is the consolation play in, so the Winner will move on in the consolation bracket. The other team, unfortunately, will be eliminated from the tournament. The winner will play Friday. And Hallie, a big force for Iberia here. She's one of those that underneath... They could really do some damage underneath that basket there. Hallie, another one of those players that a lot of potential. Good player. And Lipscomb, that basket is good. So first points for Dixon off the steal. And out of bounds, back to Dixon. So Lipscomb slowing things down here. And missed a wide open Lady Bulldog underneath instead. Good ball movement there. She's able to get out of the lane. Dixon still able to hang on. Good shot by Stevens. Not there. Offensive rebound. And still offensive rebound. Lipscomb, I believe. That is short. Out of bounds. Ball head back to the Rangers.
Following this game tonight, we'll have Licking and Crocker in the quarterfinal. Licking state ranked in class three, Crocker receiving votes in class two. And then our nightcap will be Newberg and Stoutland. Newberg also receiving votes in a very feisty Stoutland team, so two possibly pretty good games. And a little give and go right there underneath. It's an offense that I used last year and the year before a little bit pretty heavily. When you get the height, that is a great offense to use. Drive Bulldogs, not there. A little soft on the shot. And we're going to have a foul, so it'll be on the floor. And that's Hallie's first foul for the Rangers. So, kind of a big one for Iberia there. We're going to have another foul. And if this is Hallie again, we are... So, that's her second within about two seconds. So, there's still... There's a lot of time left in this game. That could be a, a factor for Dixon. Three is good. Lady Bulldogs on the board again. They'll cut this to a one-point game. Take a replay look at that real quick. And just like that, Bulldogs have kind of fought their way back in here. Inbounds, can get the first attempt. Second attempt is good. So take a look at that before the free throw here. Basket was good. Off the foul, just on the side, got the hands. And looking at the... Dixon now trying to, the ball loose, still loose, Iberia is going to come away with it, one lady ranger, she's got a foul here, so third foul for the lady bulldogs. First shot by Rowden is good. That'll double up the score, 10 to 5. Second free throw also good for the Rangers. And steal. 13 points now for Iberia. <laughs> Lady Rangers will pick that, ba that ball off once again. Dixon with the rebound this time. One on several. That ball going out of bounds, but stay with Dixon, it looks like. Mm -hmm. 
Three-point shot by Dixon. No good. And this is over the back. That's Lipscomb's second foul. So both key players for each of these teams now. Two fouls already. Lipscomb, one of those sister played out here. So she's got some basketball experience on this young team. And that ball out of bounds. Still Dixon ball. Iberia tried to steal it, couldn't hold on to it, and... Ball did not go the way Iberia wanted it to. Ball up in the air. And we're going to have a timeout. We'll take a break. We'll M Timber up there, but I will have all that hopefully tomorrow. I will have all of their information shared out for anyone who would like to support them. Point difference here in this early part of the game still. Closing moments of the first quarter, one minute to go. Iberia underneath. A little bit off on that. Iberia able to save it. Dixon tried to steal. Pretty good defense there by the Lady Bulldogs, though. And that shot off, out of bounds. Last touched by Dixon. They're going to send it down the middle. A little bit of a reverse right there. I like to do that with guards, and it also works with post players. So that is Brown with the two points, her sixth point. I'm going to give a big shout out to Jim Brown. If you are watching from somewhere in the Caribbean, he's on a cruise right now. Cheering on his granddaughter here on Crocker. The, ne the uh, next ball game here as they face looking Wildcats. And with that, end of one, 19 to 5. Rangers on top. We'll be back after that. Beria again, that is good. Again, the little give and go. Cut to the basket. Get to the big big man, basically, offense. Big man, big girl down there. Turnover. Iberia, they're swarmed right now, but they are able to get away. Three-point shot that is short. Rangers on the rebound. Swing pass three. We're going to have a foul. I think we'll have three free throws coming now from this. And that's the fifth foul for the Lady Bulldogs. Free throw up. That one is good. 22 points on the board now for the Rangers. And second free throw coming. No good. We're going to have a substitution in for the final free throw. That is 42 for the Lady Bulldogs. So 
23 to 5, 18 point lead now in favor of Iberia still. And Rowden with the bucket again. Dixon with the basket this time. Seventh point of the game. Drive. That is short. Rangers underneath. They're going to force it below. A little bit of help offense there. Dixon nearly got a hand on it, disrupted the pass a little bit. And we're going to have a traveling call, it looks like. Dixon really looking to try to start something here. Looks like a well, looks like, looks almost like a zone, but they're matched up pretty well man to man. Rangers on the rebound, three short in traffic. And another foul for Dixon here. That'll send the Rangers to the free throw. Edelman in for Dixon here. And both free throws good for the Lady Rangers. The winner will play on Friday. The other one will be eliminated. on these men of the Lady Bulldogs. Player control foul. And three up. It is good. 30 points now. Iberia starting to test the waters and found the three-point waters are warming up. Once again, the not a running clock rule until the second half. Dixon sent it out to safety there. Three point shot off the screen, not there. That ball will bounce out. And it looks like last off of the Lady Rangers. Back here, Dixon, inbound, off the side of the rim, foul on the Lady Bulldogs. This will be shooting again, so we'll be back in the bonus. And we'll travel over there, and we'll be back for some free throws in just a minute. 
So one and one with the bonus. Iberia at the line. Free throw, no good, but offensive rebound is good. 32 points now for the Lady Rangers. Turnover on Dixon there. Three point shot up. That is good. Twenty eight point difference now. Oh, looks like it's only a two on the scoreboard, so we'll correct that. But either way, it is 27 point difference. Three and a half minutes to go. Dixon's already used three of their timeouts. They only have two more. Rangers still have all five. Dixon, that is off once again. Boys, so districts are complicated here. The class two district nine and girl or er, girls will be here. Class two district nine boys will be at Richland. The Lakeway District, which is class 10 for boys only. Girls are in class 9. That will be, I believe, in Mountain Grove or somewhere in Texas County. So jump ball. Ball still Dixon. So we will have live coverage of the girls' districts. Well, Richland will host and most likely stream the Class 9 boys. So not every school, boys and girls, are in the same district this year. Something kind of started last year and it's been expanded this year to make sure there's enough teams playing. Dixon again with the ball, 39 to 7 now. Still a couple minutes to go in this until halftime. And we're going to have a foul. It's only the third foul if it's on. Nope, just a tip. Nope, that is a foul. And kind of hit a wall right there. Iberia will pick it up. They're going to go the other way. And I believe this foul on 22. That's the second foul for her of Iberia. That's 
is going to be on Iberia. Not a shooting foul. Now the replay, it might have been a shooting foul. And knocked out. Still Dixon ball. And still out of bounds, so instead Dixon last one to touch it this time. Dixon will back off, no press, and I think that one point earlier has been corrected. That shot no good. Avoided the over the back on that. Thanks, Stephanie Rome, KW Realty, local Dixon agent, Pulaski County, and Marys County. And the Dixon Booster Club for making this game possible. Rangers came away with the next one here again, and pass underneath Howley, I believe. That is good. 41 points. Okay, it's 43 points, so 43 to 7 here. Out on the game clock, 0 0.3. So, so we'll see if... So that will do it. End of the first half, 43 to 7. We'll be back. We are off. Dixon with the ball first. They trail by quite a few points here. So it's fourth quarter running clock, apparently. And foul, third foul, 22 on the Rangers. Dixon, that ball picked off on the pass. And foul on the Lady Bulldogs. Rangers at the line again. Fourth quarter will be running clock. So 44-7 now. Iberia on top. And 45-7. Ten points for Brown in the game now. Dixon. Trying to drive in there into traffic. Rangers pick the ball out of the air and... Iberia playing it a little bit safer here than usual. Again, that pass underneath. They're going to kick it out this time. No good. Dixon with the rebound. Thank you for joining us today. And tomorrow we'll be here again bright and early at 5 p.m. Friday's game, 4 o'clock start time. Don't forget that.
First free throw, no good for the Bulldogs. And free throw good. First points of the half for Dixon now. Iberia passed up a three. Back inside. Good ball movement here. Good drive. Dixon collapsed on the defense for that. Good defense. And we're going to have a three seconds, I believe, is the call on the cross side. Once again, I want to thank, I believe it's CZM Forestry. I'm not sure if that's the official name, but I am working on that. They are the, I can't get to load on my phone. They are your sponsors for the tournament and the coverage of the Iberia Rangers and Lady Rangers this year. Thank you for that. Hey, another Amazon package is on the way. I got one here early. Sometimes Amazon does good things. So Dixon. A little safer there. Get Iberia trying to isolate. I like this double team style defense that we're seeing here. We have a jump ball though. And this will go to the Rangers. Side pass underneath Hallie with the assist, and that basket is good. Once again, thank you for all the sponsors, no matter what team you're part of, though. You support this tournament along with coverage of the Rala Holiday Tournament for the Waynesville Tigers and other area teams that are also participating in that. And who knows, we may have some St. Louis teams that will help cover too. See what go see what works. Next non-tournament broadcast, I believe, is December 13th, a Dixon Bulldogs game. Drive in is good. 49 points for the Rangers. Timeout. Dixon will be back after this commercial. They will inbound the basketball here. Next game will be Licking and Crocker. Licking the one seed. Crocker, I believe, the four seed in the tournament. Again, the give and go. That is good. I love that play. I'm going to teach that to my team. Love the simplicity of how it works. Off Dixon, back to Iberia. And Iberia will move on. They will, not sure who they'll face yet in the consolation side, but they will move on to play on Friday.
championship semifinals are today and tomorrow. Girls are tonight, boys tomorrow, the same format. Play in game first. And another easy bucket off the assist. Good ball movement again by the Rangers. Dixon team, all sophomores and freshmen, so not a lot of age on that. We're going to have a foul. He definitely cannot swat the arm. was good for Dixon there. We'll take care of that in just a minute here. Again, pass back to Howley again. That's a double negative, huh? Fell on the Lady Rangers. Oh, the clock is still running, I guess, so I guess we just kind of agreed on that. Nope, never mind. I don't know what's going on with that, but it was running, then it stopped, and now we're back running again. team they have a pretty good chance here they can get four games in this tournament I'm sure. Stolen by Iberia. I mean, you want to tell your team not to, like, you know, just knock out threes constantly, but you don't want to tell them not to score either. And Howley will head to the line. Another foul on Dixon. Free throw is good. And second one also good. Back to the Bulldogs. 30 seconds in the quarter. Fourth quarter will be running clock. And 
looks like we're going to run the quarter out here. And with that, 57. Next game, probably a little bit. Well, we'll be about. Th uh, so back here, injury on Dixon there. They will look at her and get her all sorted out. Dixon with the drive and the score. So scored on their side. <laughs> and we have a foul on that. Be on the Rangers. Their fourth foul. clock not running. So with five minutes to go in the ball game here, the Rangers will pick up the victory. And Rowden again with the bucket, 63 points now. Iberia will move on in the tournament.
shot up. Oh, that is in. Mario with the win. Have room to run. Henry is.